Ready? Hi everyone, it's Natasha Crow here with Crow Canvas Paint Parties. I am so excited tonight to be painting one of my first original designs. Uh, it's it's a beach gnome. So I have to introduce my husband Dustin. He doesn't have a mic, but he does help me tremendously with all of the technical side of things like my mic and my cameras and without him I couldn't do this so thank you honey and we are going to start here so if we want to go to our palette view yep we're ready okay this is our beach gnome we are using an 11 by 14 canvas here um and I, th I believe that I include, no, I, I don't believe, I know that I <laughs> included a file for a traceable here for this, this little guy, um, and also a supply list. Um, some of the paint colors that I have here right now aren't exactly the same as the supply list because I am unfortunately out of burnt umber, so I'm going to have to work out another color for that but that's the nice thing about painting you can pretty much improvise so I will go over paint brushes here and then also what each color is really quickly um, we're going to be using this flat flat wash brush here mostly to paint in the background as you can see there's like three zones here that we'll be blending with and these brushes are really nice to blend with also, I mean, if you want, it's not necessary, or, <laughs> sorry, it's not necessarily <laughs> um, important, but this is kind of nice to have if you want to use a dry brush technique and blend in the sky with the water with the sand. So I have that just in case. And then we have our three little brushes, our round brushes here. We have our eight round uh, really good for outlining and details and I believe this is a four round and then a three I think it's a three or two round right there um, all really good for outlining and this painting actually has a few more little details than than I have had lately so and it's really up to you you can make it as detailed or or as plain as you want it's whatever your comfort level is so just because i did all these waves and all these little details with his drink uh, you feel free to do what you're comfortable with because that's what this is about here i just want to make sure that everybody that's painting is comfortable and they're feeling like it's something that they can do so Let's move him out of the way. I really feel like I should name him. I don't, I don't know. I haven't come up with a good name. If anyone comes up with a good name for this guy, type it in the comments and say hello when you join, if you would like to. All right, so I kind of cheated beforehand. <laughs> I got this background ready with the tracer already on there so you can kind of see that little gnome is already there so step one I'll show this briefly but then I'm gonna change out for a blank canvas and show you guys how to paint and how to blend sky ocean and sand it's actually super easy and it's super fun so blank canvas there we'll switch it out move my brushes I'm going to do a little cheating here. Um, when I did the original painting for this, I measured out by thirds. Because, you know, in art, it's usually like the law of thirds. And how you do that is I took... Now, I'm not going to get into really hard math here, just super simple math. <laughs> but in, in case you want, like, the, it doesn't have to be exact, but, you know, estimated... You take your 14 and divide it by three, and then that's how you get your lines there. So just kind of mark it off. And we'll just scooch this over. I don't want to distract there. First thing that I'm going to do, I want to show you my brush. So it's that flat wash brush. 
we're going to pull paint. And you know, I'm actually going to get a little bit of water because canvas panels are pretty notorious for being dry and really when you wet down that canvas, you're giving that acrylic a better chance to blend well and to look good. So quickly do that. I don't want too much water. I'll pull out some of that blue. You know what? I just realized I didn't go over the paint colors with you guys. So titanium white, <laughs> we'll just do it really quick. Titanium white, uh, blue, this is yellow, phthalo green, Mars black. Uh, I believe this one is raw sienna, burnt sienna, and then just like a cadmium red. And it's a mix of heavy body acrylics and then soft body acrylics craft paint. And it's really your preference. Uh, I like them both. These spread better. These, uh, the thinner soft acrylics, you, you have to put more coats of paint. So that's just kind of whatever works better for you. So we'll get back to this blue. I'm going to pull out the blue. A little bit of white. And see how I load my brush there. Do the front, back. And we're going to take, so this line here, we're not going to go below this line because this is our, 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 yeah, our horizon line. And I'm going to just start horizontal, back and forth. It kind of looks like a streak sky there. Oh, there's my mark. I stop. And I'm thinking that looks okay. When you load up your paintbrush like that, you, you pull out a little bit of blue and then you pull out a little bit of white on each side. That's what is going to give it that sky effect. So that's a good technique to know for blending into wet on wet. And also like anytime you want to do a sky that looks realistic. Um, so I'm liking that. I'm going to leave that there. Hello, everybody that's watching. I'm so happy that you joined me, even if it's just for a little bit. I know Fridays can be crazy, especially summertime. Oh, my goodness. Summer is so busy. Yesterday, we went to the water park with my boys, <laughs> and I think it proved to me how truly old <laughs> I'm feeling today. Right, honey? <laughs> Kids have that boundless energy, and we're just like, oh. We didn't get home till, well, we spent like seven hours there, but it was fun. It was fun. We need to do it more often. So got that sky, rinse out the brush, rinse it a little bit more. There we go. Next, we're going to do our ocean and the line here. So it's from here to here. We put those marks there for our ocean. Now, if you wanted, if you had like a darker blue or like an ultramar ultramarine blue is really good for ocean. I don't happen to have my ultramarine. So what I'm going to do to make it just a little bit darker, I mean, and it's just like the faintest, oh, that might have even been too much, just like the tiniest bit of black, like one part black to three parts blue, a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. A lot of people like to use painter's tape, which I have done before. Um, so if you're not, if you're nervous about your lines not coming out perfectly straight, you can get, it's like at Hobby Lobby, it's super cheap. You can just like put some tape there and it makes those lines turn out really crisp. I, however, <laughs> am not doing that tonight. So it might not look as perfect as it could. I think it'll be okay. So I'm just going to take this. I actually really like the color of that blue. That turned out way better than I expected. 
And that's the best part about mixing colors. It's actually my favorite part. Okay, so of this third piece here, I'm only going to do this top part. Okay, so we have that section of water. Next, I am going to use, uh, it's Deco Art Americana. Do I have to flip it around, huh? No, it's this. Okay, this is such a beautiful color for oceans and so many fun summer things. I love it. It is sea breeze. Um, I've used it quite a bit this summer, actually, in a lot of my designs and paintings. So <laughs> oh. it's being stubborn. All right. So we're going to got a little bit of that. Pull out just a little bit. Now, we don't want this to be dry. Uh, we're actually using a technique called wet wet into wet where it blends really nicely and I actually want this to be a little bit wet right now so we can see how I do just back and forth it blends just so nice we will come back to that line later I know it looks a little out of place right now but it will look better <laughs> so I'm gonna load up my brush with more a little bit more of that blue lagoon oh my goodness i just love that color i know i already said that but wow it just makes you think of like tropical and warm and pretty much anywhere away from here not that i i'm not saying i i like it here but wouldn't it be nice to live next to an ocean ocean or mountains i would like them both all right so i'm going to set this down and this is where this blending brush actually comes in really, really handy. I'm going to take this line, this line. It is dry. And this, what is this called? It's called dry brush. You just take this. <laughs> it's not going to do it for me, is it? <laughs> it did earlier. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes you got to be a little more aggressive with it. Um, but see how it kind of just blends? Oh, nope, I didn't want to do that. We're going this way. We don't want vertical. There's not really many reflections. Not on this one anyways. Yes, I am really liking that. Um, and I might come back to it later. And, you know, you can always, the nice thing about acrylic paint it dries fast and if you don't like something wait till it dries paint over it and change it okay so done with that part next we are going to do our sand the beach which is this section right here same thing we're not going to dry any of this yet with a hairdryer or anything because we want it to be wet so we can do that blending easier and so it just kind of looks like one um, continuous scene. So I'm going to rinse out this flash brush, flash, flash brush, <laughs> flat brush. Look like said we went to amusement park yesterday. <laughs> My brain is, it could be a flash brush maybe. <laughs> My husband's looking at me like, uh, yeah, no. Did you let the dog out? Oh, okay. We have a mascot. He's a beagle. He's looking at me. Just in case anybody wanted to know. He's here for moral support. Okay. So, yeah, he is very good. His name is Bentley. Next, we're going to do the sand. So, I'm pretty excited. Now, I think on the supply list, I believe I put burnt umber, but like I said, I don't have burnt umber right now. I ran out, so I'm going to kind of like rig together. <laughs> rig? It's not a machine. What's the word? I live with too many boys. Oh my goodness. What's the word? <laughs> so anyway, we got burnt sienna. No, raw sienna. It's the raw ones. Raw and then raw something else. I said them in the beginning. 
We're going to mix these together. Ooh, I like it. And just a little bit. Oop. Tiny amount of black. Which reminds me, I do need to put uh, um, umber, whatever that color is. I need to get some more of that. What is it? Burnt umber? Yeah, burnt umber. We want it burnt, not raw. <laughs> I don't know. Like, have you ever thought about painting? Well, I think about painting names all the time. Like, all the browns are either burnt or raw. And it's like, my gosh. Okay. No medium. <laughs> Ooh, we're getting off track. So we are going to get back over to where we have our beach. Got our darkish mix. I'm going to go like this. I like it. Okay. But we're only going to do like this much because... I want the color to change pretty gradually. So I'm going to mix in a, a little bit more of this primary yellow and um, it's that soft body acrylic. And as it comes forward, it's going to lighten up there. Um, so you get, then you get just yellow on your brush and mix it wet into wet. And it gives it a really nice, oops, eh, that's okay if I get paint on my table. I don't know. So you really feel like you're on a beach with a gnome, which would be kind of awesome. Having a drink. <laughs> I'm liking this. All right. How easy was that? Really? That's our first step. And really, it is just about measuring off these sections and blending. And that's it. And you have a beautiful beach background for your little gnome. So I'm excited that we're moving into step two. We're going to rinse that brush out pretty well. In fact, I think I might actually just be done with this brush. I'm not even going to. I'm going to move this canvas out of my way. Oh, it's still wet. Do, do, do. Can do something with this? <laughs> no? Okay. Sorry, guys. We're playing shuffle the canvas. And just like that, my little gnome man appeared. For this, I did use my image tracer here that I had included in my free summer creative challenge group. Um, so I got that. And then what I did is I just took graphite paper and I placed it between the canvas and the image and just traced it and it's really really nice for especially beginner painters it takes a lot of the stress out so it's good okay so this is step two and we've got our gnome here we're gonna i'm gonna start actually up up here and work our way down I start with his hat. His hat is kind of a mixture of this sand color. Um, and I'm going to use for this, I might be using a combination. I guess I like, I will be using this flat brush possibly again. Oh, we'll put it here. Um, but mostly I'll be using this eight round uh, brush. It is one of my favorite brushes. It's a velvet Princeton. It's pretty much the only nice brush that I've let myself buy. Uh, it's a Princeton velvet touch and it is amazing. So okay, I think we're good. Got paint all over my hands. That's okay. We are gonna take oh let's see here. This is kind of a mixture of what the brush a little bit. 
a mixture of that yellow and brown because he's in like a little straw hat. Um, sorry, allergies there. So calm and And for this, we actually might need to do a couple coats. That blue background wants to shine through and say hi. I'll let that dry a little. Okay, now on, so on this reference image, I do have, he has like these fun little straw designs here and you you can do that or, or you cannot i don't think i'm gonna do that tonight i'm gonna actually leave some of the details out just because i don't want to keep you guys here all night you know like three hours later because the whole point of having fun with painting is especially if you're busy it doesn't take forever now can if you do want these details go for it but tonight i think we're just gonna make it a simple simple hat with no extras this is his brother he's he's got like the simpler style <laughs> yes i do make up stories about my paintings i mean come on especially if it's a gnome oh my gosh <laughs> this is the one that's like i like hats i just don't like them all fancy <laughs> my husband Dustin is over there laughing at me so that's why I'm laughing um there yeah at least he thinks I'm funny right <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> all right we'll let that dry or rinse out next we have the red band that goes across and I am actually going to use a small detail brush. I probably could use um, a larger round brush, but I don't want to. So <laughs> we're going to grab some of that fun cat red. And I might need to do a couple coats on this too. And let's go through and get that little stripe, stripey stripe. A lot of times when you're trying to go straight across on a canvas, um, I mean, you could try to go straight all the way, but I do like little tiny strokes just because it's easier. I am definitely going to have to go over and do another coat. I don't know why. Red is more transparent than other colors. Red and yellow, and I, I mean, I'm not like a art expert but i have wondered why i think it's the way that the colors i don't know i heard someone explain it once i'm not going to attempt to explain it because <laughs> yeah we're about fun art here and this is fun I am going to do come down and do while this is drying, come down and do this section next. Um, and I am, let's see, I'm going to use this eight brush a little bit darker, I think, or like a good mix of whatever this color is. And it looks good. So much of painting is just kind of like going with it. And it often surprises you. You're like, hmm, looks better than I thought it might have. Come through here. And I'm definitely going to have to put more coats of paint. But we're just doing the underpainting right now. We'll let it dry. We'll come back. All that good stuff. I'm going to add a little bit more yellow.
do that line under here. Let's come around here. This little hat. On little sunglasses. I'm trying to think if I've ever had red sunglasses. Have you ever had red sunglasses? You haven't? Green? What? I didn't know that. Like, how old? When you were like 30. <laughs> Hunter green sunglasses. Was that like a 90s? Yeah. Like oh. I never had any cool sunglasses when I was younger. What's the craziest pair of sunglasses you guys have ever had? I'd love to know. Or maybe, maybe you just are cool and you've never had crazy sunglasses. I don't know. I used to, well, no, remember those neon ones? Like the neon, I remember wanting these so bad when I was like second, third grade with the slap bracelets. There was like the neon pink and green glasses. I, uh, yeah, I think I had a pair of those, but they threw them out at the parade. So I thought it was super awesome. All right, so we're just finishing up, I don't know if it's called like the brim, the inner brim here, and I'm making it so that's not like gloppy, <laughs> or trying to anyway, kind of smoothing out those lines. Perfect. We're going to let those dry, rinse out, and watch this little gnome come to life. Because, oh my goodness, my favorite part is coming up next. And the glasses, of course. Be red. And I'm going to use this small detail brush. And you know what? I think I'm going to try something here. I'm going to mix a little bit of white with my red so it'll. I won't have to put, oh, well, now it's going to be pink. Okay, well, <laughs> not too much white. Don't, unless, I don't know, maybe he wants hot pink glasses. Well, maybe. Let's try this. And you can, I don't know. I paint from top to bottom because, as you can see by my hands, oh my goodness, I'm already so messy. So, usually by the done, the time I'm done painting, it's just a mess but that's that's the fun part right <laughs> so I'm gonna move down yep I really like the addition of that white awesome oh detail brush here really light and I want to say like barely even touching the canvas pressure I mean you're just kind of I don't know like it's a feather and you're just, I don't know, it, hopefully you can see, I know we're not real close. We don't have any like special zoom effects just yet with our cameras here. I don't know, give my husband a while. He likes texting, so we'll see if we can work on getting that. Kind of depends on how many people like to watch. So yeah, just super light. As you go around, oh my goodness, so fun. I, I mean, it never fails. No, no matter when I'm painting, it just makes me so happy to see something like come to life out of a white canvas. It's just, I mean, I don't know. It just makes me so happy. Look at that little guy. That little guy.
looking good, dude. Yep, I just said dude. Ta-da! Sunglasses. Gnome glasses. Gnome glasses. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. I'm such a nerd. Gnome glasses. No. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Sorry. That's like in my head. Just like singing it. I wish Facebook would like let you have really cool music because one of my favorite things to do when I'm painting is just like turn up the music and just sing. Not necessarily about gnome glasses slash hot pockets, but like other things. So the next thing that I'm going to do, we're going to let this situation dry and we're going to go back up to the top of the hat and do another layer while the glasses are drying. Uh, kind of work our way back down. I'm trying to avoid using that hair dryer because I don't know. It's just, that's like the fun. I don't, I don't think of what to say. The fun. Well, it's okay. I mean, yeah, when we get into like the drink and the towel and the sandals, yes, I would like a little bit of a zoom dusted. So yes, thank you. I'll let you know. All right, let's get back in. And sometimes I forget like, oh yeah, I'm just doing this, but I need to explain. Yes, I am mixing these colors with some more primary yellow. So, and a little bit of water. We're gonna come up here. Some light to the belly. White is awesome. I mean, as far as like making things show up better. Like if you're starting to paint, get good, like it's, you can really use any type of paint, but if you want good quality, like your options, if you can only afford like a couple, cause I know when I first started, I just kind of used what I had, but if you get good white and good black, that'll go a long way in the way that your painting looks. It, it really does. And I, I was kind of skeptical at first, but I mean, it just, it just does. So actually, Okay, so I started painting a year ago in August. So that is coming up. I'm gonna have my paint bursary. If that's a thing, you know what? I'm gonna make it a thing. Like a paint bursary party. And I am just so excited to be able to show other people now who are interested in how to paint because it really is just like, I view it as my therapy. I mean, it's so calming and relaxing. It, even if you can't do it every day or every week, even just once a month, it's just, it really helps art therapy. That I like to call it. Oh no, I got some of the yellow on as well. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. I am loving that hat. Rinse, rinse. Coming back in with that red. No glasses. No glasses. No, it's a little too white for me. No, 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 no. We're not doing that paintbrush. You back it up. Yep, I talked to my paintbrushes too. It looks like a, I don't know, like a pink, pink frosting. No, thank you. Oh, that line needs to be a little bit straighter. I'll touch it later. Thanks, babe. 
And also, it's not about perfection. That's my main message, too, is like, I don't know, just, just have fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go with that littler brush, though. See, that's, and that's kind of why I use, I choose to use a smaller brush because I'm so heavy handed, I think is what they call it. Troubles. Keeping it light. And I found even if we, I don't know, sometimes, especially if I'm painting fur or something that has to be light tapping or just kind of say something in my mind and it helps me to remember to concentrate and to, I apologize for my sniffing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. We're going to zoom guys so you can see this better because it's it's hard to go ahead zoom okay perfect fun. i think maybe we might leave it there for all of these details okay. um yeah that's probably okay i can describe what i'm doing on the palette oh i like that hopefully you guys can see that better that's always my main uh, like concern it's like I know it looks a little sloppy now that I'm seeing it on the camera <laughs> we're gonna clean that up my lines aren't really the see what I say about being perfect now I'm doing it to myself stop it stop it <laughs> it's a work in progress right we all are Okay. As much as I don't like this hair dryer, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so we can speed up this whole thing right here with the uh, details on the face. So Dustin's going to mute it. When you dry your paintings, you will make sure you want to put it on cold. So ready? Okay, we are back on. Looking, oh no, my paintbrush has got blown into the paint, like the handles. Hold on, babe. I need to wipe these off really quick. Sorry, guys. That's why I don't like that blow dryer. I know you can't see, but there was like a major paintastrophe. Okay, we got it. If you can zoom back in, hun. all right, we're going to go move on to like the lenses of the glasses now. Can you zoom in anymore at all? We're just going to do like the nose and the lenses. So if we can zoom into that, that would be awesome.
we're zooming in, guys. And it's okay if you can't. Okay, is it good? Is it gonna look different on, oh, perfect. Thank you. Awesome, okay, loving that. We're gonna paint the lenses here. So I am using a small round brush and I've got just plain black on it. The palette cam has kind of been off for now. Um, light strokes. Pure black paint. Really light touch. And come in here. Okay, there's one side. Grab that other side. Get your brush and a little bit of water. There's reflections here, but I painted over them because I'm going to redo them. Same thing. If you can see what my brush is doing here, we're going to just fill this in. our lenses. Oh, listen. So cute. Oh my goodness. I love it. Okay. Well, these are drying. We're going to do his nose. And for that, we're going to mix like a really faint pink, pink color. We'll just take a little bit of our red. So we're going to do like three parts white, one part pink, one part red. Maybe even a little bit more white. We just, <laughs> well, it look like our kids. Oh my goodness. Well, okay. So we gave them sunblock. So, I mean, it's not like, it's just when they say they're all good and they don't actually put it on their face like you thought they did. <laughs> and then they are a red, beet red lobster at the end of the day. And you're like, uh, okay, what you going to do kids? Anyways, I love them. Moms versus kids versus sunblock. The saga of summer. All right. So I have my pink here. I come up here. I mean, and it's just barely, well, maybe even that's a little too white. Values are tricky. I'm still learning about them. Tan? Really? I don't know. Well, okay. We have a request from the technical department to do tan. <laughs> hey, it might work. It might be okay. What, you want them to look tanned? Or like, no, oh, yeah, not so like me. <laughs> <laughs> this literally, this little gnome is like what I look like in the sun. I was glowing yesterday. I think a lot of you can relate. You have two colors. It's either like blinding white or red lobster. I'm at red lobster today. No, I'm not. I use sunblock. Okay, back to this. Sorry, I'm off the rails. Let's do that. Okay. So there's a little highlight line on his nose here. Oh, water. Fill this in. swoop around this side. Put this side in. I 
Okay. Then I'm going to leave. Okay. So this little part right here is the highlight. I am going to get just pure white for that. And we're just going to light, oh, too much water. And that's okay. You can just come back over here and fix it. Adopt this. There we go. A little bit of white. We'll come back and um, maybe do another coat on this too. Rinse out. Okay, so we have the glasses and the nose completed. Looking kind of cute. I'm going to move back up here and do some shading. Uh, this underside of his hat so it kind of looks more like it's not just flat. Yeah, three-dimensional. Thank you. I wasn't like thinking of the word. <laughs> like that dimensional word. And for anyone that's just joining, um, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I am so glad that you decided to spend this Friday to paint and watch this little gnome come to life. I love painting and people and having fun. So, hello. I mean, you can even say hi if you want. So, sometimes it gets kind of, you know, talking into a camera. I mean, it's okay, but. So shading is what, oh my goodness. This fan is drying out my paint. Um, oh. Yes, please. Okay, I know that you can't see my palette right now, which is fine. I'll tell you what I'm doing in mixing a darker shade of brown here. It's just a little tiny, tiny amount of black. Huh? No, that's okay. I'm going to come through here, do one of these deals, just real light. And we'll come around this way too, just real subtle. Got my eight round brush and we're just shading, making it look like the brim is more up here and kind of do the same thing. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm going to blend this here. There's always an ugly stage to a painting. I warn everybody that that paints. You're like, no, that that's not right. Or I don't really like that, honey. I think I'm going to put it back to where it was. <laughs> And even sometimes it takes like, I don't know, like days. A lot of times I'll just be like, hate a painting. And then it takes like hanging it up and like getting distance from it. Try this out. And I promise, like, when he zooms out, it'll look, <laughs> look better. It will, it will. There. 
there. Maybe. Like a big dry brush. I think they're all my blender. I'm going to come back in here and While we're here, we're going to just do a little bit more red because I feel like it needs to be pop more. It's just really quickly, and this is my detail brush. Got it popping. And really, the face is the most intricate part that'll like take the longest time, I feel like. So, come back in here, grab the nose again. going to do one more layer on these sunglasses. Oops. Oops. I hold too much white on that. What? <laughs> Only happy accidents. Legendary Bob Ross. Okay, guys. This next part's kind of cool because we're going to make... I bring over my reference photo here. Oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. These lines... Right there. So wavy lines across. I'll wait till you zoom back in. Okay. Then. And again, we're just using that white detail. Like, um, I want to say one round or, excuse me, zero round. Take it. Go across here. Got a little, little wave. 
this, try to make it a little thinner. We're going to come back in and do this side really thin, like so just straight up titanium white, come over, really, really subtle there, and right there, love it. Okay, guys. We're gonna do the beard next. Now, um, can we keep this zoomed in and then like just kind of move it down to his middle section? Okay. Okay. Giving technical department a chance to zoom in. We're moving down to the beard and the drink and this fun little inner tube. <laughs> He's gonna float away on. Oh my goodness, I paint all over my arms. You got it? While we are waiting for that short technical transition, I want to say hi to everybody. Thank you for watching tonight. Um, at the end of the painting, I will have a kind of exciting announcement. So I don't know if you want to hang in there till then, but I don't know. I am excited about it because I have a really fun schedule lined up uh, for the next few weeks. And I was going to talk a little bit about that. So, you got it? Yeah. All right. We are, I love it. Right here, we're going to do the beard. I'm going to start with my round eight and mix mostly white. Now it depends on how white or gray or black you want this little guy's beard to be. I'm going to go with just like really light gray. Like he's old, but not too old. <laughs> okay. So on the palette cam and you can't see it, but we got, I've got mostly white and then just a little touch of black. Round eight brush here. Just a little bit more black. And I take it, swoop, swoop. See these brush strokes here? Swoop. I lie down the brush like this, swoop. Really easy swooping motion. Come under here. Slowly. We watch these lines up here. Get these edges. Swoop. So fun through here. Those little hands <laughs> come through here. So load up the brush again. Come around this way. Really light hand, light pressure here. Just swoop, swoop. <laughs> troll beard. Troll beard, troll beard. Not troll. Oh my goodness, he's not a troll. He's a gnome. Sorry, gnome. Nom, 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 nom. Leave room for his little straw. And we'll come up here. And just slowly fill it in. To come to life. Just 
Come over here and grab the side. Making it look like long beardy beard. All right. Rinse that brush out. Ta-da, no beard. All right, I'm gonna make, so we're gonna do this little section right here. This is a straw, glass and drink. I'm going to make him drinking lemonade so it'll match his yellow shirt. So we're going to make the straw red. Again, I have the very small detail brush here. I'm going to take and put it in the cad red over here. Little straw. <laughs> I'm gonna come through here and make some lemonade. So I'm gonna mix the primary yellow and white. Take that same small brush come over here. Rinse. And basically I want just like a version of a gray. So come back over here to the gray, but blue, maybe put a little bit of blue in there. Super, I don't know, we'll try this. Yeah, looks kind of like a glass. We'll come up later and make those lines that give it dimension. Right now it's just kind of looking like a blob and I know, but we'll, we'll make it stand out later. Got it. Ta-da. He's coming to life. Ta-da. I'm gonna get a little more lemonade. All right, we're gonna start next on his beach shirt, which you can really use any color. I used yellow because he's gonna be just like yellow, red, and green. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna do the primary yellow in your eight round. Come over this way. His arms coming like down around this way, and this is his shirt. And we'll do the other side. So another fun, like awesome Hawaiian shirt. Oops. Mm, well, I'll fix that later. There we go. Outline of his little shirt. Oh, there's a spot down here. So it's kind of like between his beard and his little inner tube. Little shirt. There. Okay, hun. Well, we'll come back to it. Never mind. All right. We're gonna get that skin tone um, ish color again. I want to say pink that we mixed earlier. 
And if you feel like you want it to look more flesh colored, you can add in a, like a touch of light brown. I am. We'll see. Maybe we'll make his nose a little bit pinker than his arms. Like, well, gnome tan, farmer tan, gnome tan. <laughs> Would it be a farmer tan on a gnome? I don't know. So many questions that come into the mind. Maybe just mine. All right, so we got that custom color there for this little guy. And yes, I know I'm kind of blobbing out his <laughs> fingers. We'll do that last. We'll do those little details last. For right now, I just kind of want to put down that paint. <laughs> little blobby like that we'll let that dry and I'm of course going to do another coat but we'll move down to the towel and the inner tube next whoop, whoop. we are halfway done guys inner tube is red go back to that cad red mix with a little white we'll come over here And then lightly we'll, you know, kind of be mindful of where the arms are at. Watch the brush strokes. Use the tip of the round brush and lay down that paint. Got it. Oh my goodness, so cute. <laughs> okay, rinse, rinse on that red. Pat the brush dry. And I don't know if I've been saying that, I apologize, but every time you rinse your brush out, you're gonna wanna pat it like on a paper towel, to get that water out. Otherwise your paint is gonna be too watery, so. Got that red inner tube. Next we're gonna do his little towel hanging on his arm. And I'm thinking because his swim shorts are green, we're gonna do like a version of like a lighter green mixed with white. Um, maybe that lagoon color, I think is what it was called. So same eight round brush, mixing up a little paint over here, with the light green. I'm gonna come back over. Mm, it's kind of blending in with the ocean. I might make it a little different shade of green. <laughs> Change plans. A little bit green, a little bit more. How's that looking? Is that look any different? little Ugh, that pan's drying out my that's better yeah yeah we don't really want it to blend in with the ocean I like it. We're going to leave that there. Rinse, rinse. Dab on the towel. I'm going to come back through and do a little skin tone arms through here. It is dry enough to kind of be able to... Oop, maybe not. You know what? I'm going to leave it alone. We're going to move down and do this section. So we're working in thirds. We are on the last section of this gnome, guys. 
How you feeling? I'm going to take a breath because whoa, look what we've done. And also I hold my breath while I paint. So. <laughs> All right. Honey, do you want to transition? Yes, we are going to do the, the final third of the gnome. So go ahead and zoom down to this section. Zoom down. Gnome down. You got it? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> Look at his little legs. <laughs> so sad, but yet so true. <laughs> All right. I was just taking a bit to stretch. That is so important when you're painting, guys. Like if nobody told you. You got to stand up and stretch your arms because you can be like so into something that you forget and you're just like hunched over like an 800 little man, like an 800 year old little man. And then you sit up and you're like, ooh. <laughs> so take breaks, stand up, walk around like I should have. Stretching out my arms. Let's move on to the, to the little legs here. <laughs> so there's like a little strip of yellow shirt that we're going to fill in right there just right there I'm trying I'm trying really hard to like you don't want to get that red right there because it won't look good okay so we got that All right, we're going to come in and do this other little piece of shirt. Oh my goodness. Oh, I did say shirt. I'm so, oh my gosh. got that we're gonna move on moving on to the green shorts on the palette cam here i've got my phthalo green and it's looking pretty and come down here liking it swish for me sometimes the word that helps when i'm painting is swish Swimming trunk. Rinse the brush. Now we're going to move on to these little chicken legs. <laughs> Flesh tone color again. Same paintbrush. Round eight. Add a little bit of white. Well, we won't be too mean. I think we'll give him like. <laughs> a little bit more of a tan-ish, maybe. There we go. So, very tip, toe with a brush, toe with a brush. Light pressure. You see how I'm doing that there? Just very light. And, you know, because of time reasons, I'm not going to show the fact that we can, like, you know, some parts might need to have more coats of paint on them if if you're not necessarily liking the way it looks um i know right here is definitely going to need to 
His little gnome toes. <laughs> Boop. 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 Cute. I say cute a lot. Coming in to the other leg here. Eight round. Toe with a brush. Swoop, swoop. Swoop, swoops. Gonna get the toes. Numb toes. It's numb toes. <laughs> hmm. Mentos? Is that what you said? Men? No. Gnome toe. Oh, I was like, what are you talking about Mentos? <laughs> I kind of, okay, I'm going to have to redefine those toes because I got distracted by Mentos versus Gnome toes for some reason. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everyone's like, yeah. Ta-da! We're probably going to have to do another coat. We've got sandals. And you know what? I should have probably got my... I just have to be really careful. I got that eight round. I should have got my little tiny detail brush. So I'm just going to be really careful. Very tip of the brush here. Just light, very light pressure. I'm going to come in and do that sandal strap there and back. There's that. We're going to come back over. Same thing here, very tip of the brush. Almost like it's the point of a pencil. And you're just gently boom. No sandals. His poor toes over here though. It looks like one big like <laughs> but without toes. We're gonna have to define that. <laughs> I well I can. I mean, and that's kind of the next step I was going to get to, um, you know, uh, the second, let me do this flesh tone up here. Cause I mean, we're going to have to define his little fingers up here too. Cause it looks just like little blobs and I, yeah, I, that's okay. I, they know that I'm, I'm just doing another coat so it looks better. Yeah, well, yeah, we are. Go ahead and zoom out and I'll wait. And it will be, ta-da, the big reveal. Got it. There he is. Oh my gosh. There's our gnome. We still got a few details. And when I say that, I mean like putting the fingers into the little hand. Or you could leave it. Actually, I don't know. Gnomes in a lot of paintings just have like these little, <laughs> so it's whatever you want to do. Uh, oh my goodness, so cute. And I'm going to bring my reference painting over. Okay, so on this one, I did a few other things that you can do if you want or not. Like I really, I made the sand look grainy. I made waves right here. I put a sun there. You don't have to do that. I'm, I'm not going to do that tonight, but I mean, it's an option. So. Kind of move them back over now. Oh, oops. Sorry. Another thing is I took a paint marker and I outlined every little detail about him. Um, I'm going to do that on part of him tonight, but not everything. Um, probably just like his little hands and toes and like the glasses. So we'll do that next really quick.
I won't keep you here forever, I promise. <laughs> I got a paint marker. Uh, these are really awesome. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. Uh, they're by the craft paint. Or, you know, if you if you just like the way this looks, awesome. Because this actually looks good too. I mean, it's just kind of whatever you prefer. Really quickly, shaking this, making sure. Yep, working. Oh, let's just go ahead and outline his hat too. Let's start up here. Again, this is a paint marker, uh, acrylic paint. Band. It really doesn't take that long to do. Plus, it just kind of makes everything pop. Coming around glasses. Oof, that made an interesting noise. Hey, there's a highlight there. What do you know? <laughs> what do you know? Oh, wow, hun. Bad puns are us. Do that. Come around here. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to outline everything, and here I am. I don't know. Just kind of want to see it pop, you know? You know? Oops. Well, there. Oh, I'm probably going to have to repaint that. That's okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add those little one, two, three. We want to make sure he has five. <laughs> Counting to myself over here. All right, there. Oh, goodness. So, one, three, four, five. Spotted. Again, this is a acrylic paint marker. It's actually kind of an amazing thing, especially if you're in a hurry and you want to do something like this. Because on the reference photo, oh my goodness, I did. I did a tiny brush and I was just like, what am I doing? I have a paint marker. So I did half of it with a tiny brush and then the other half with a paint marker. Chicken egg. we're done guys and just like that we've got a gnome this was super fun and um i usually use a paintbrush for my signature but i'm just gonna do that tonight super fun guys i'm so excited about this design like i said it's my first original one and i've just had a blast um all the way from the beginning drawing it painting it figuring out all the colors it's been so fun and um that brings me to kind of what i wanted to mention uh at the end of the painting here hi i guess i'm back on so <laughs> and i want to make sure i'm looking at everyone so this right here, if you, if this is something that you enjoyed and you want to learn how to paint, I would encourage you to join me on my Friday paint nights. Uh, they, now I do have a schedule up on my page. It's Crow Canvas is the page. 
If you look that up on Facebook, you will see that I finally have a schedule posted for you guys so you know what to expect coming up. Last week we did a sloth. Um, next week we are doing, oh my goodness, I think it's a, uh, pineapple. Pineapple Palooza. Uh, this paint party is going to be a little bit different in that there will be a really small uh, ticket fee. I think it's like $5 and it won't be on Facebook Live. It, it's actually going to be held privately through Zoom. Um, if it's something that you think you might be interested in and you want to try to paint that and uh, interact with me, it, you know, it won't be just me talking to you, but it'll be me and, and all of us and we can have a good time and paint together and I can see what you're working on and I think it'll be such a blast. So if that is something that you're interested in and look it up on my page, there's a link there. It'll, it'll take you, it'll give you the Zoom code and then it'll give you access to that Facebook page um, for my summer creative challenge, which I would love to have you, have you there. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that there's a pineapple and I believe the next week is citrus slices, which is so fun. It was one of the first paintings I ever did and it's super easy. I think I painted it last year. Um, that too is also going to be, I think like $5. Um, but, but you'll have a private paint party virtual on zoom with me. So if that is something that you want to do, I would love to see you. Thank you for joining me tonight. You guys have a great weekend and I will see you next time for a pineapple painting. Goodbye.